ओम शांति माई डियर ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स माई हिंदी लर्नर्स आई होप दैट यू आर टेकिंग इंटरेस्ट इन हिंदी एंड हिंदी इज वेरी एंसियंट लैंग्वेज इट इज नॉट न्यू वन इट हैज कम फ्रॉम द संस्कृत एंड देर इज वेरी डेप्थ इन हिंदी टू लर्न एनी लैंग्वेज इट नीड्स टाइम इट्स नीड्स प्रैक्टिस हाउ मच यू विल पुट इन टू प्रैक्टिस so it will come in your knowledge so try to read try to write try to speak with me we will give simple examples today now i am going to tell you about uh, the reading come with me simple words without vowel symbol without the half consonants few words and try to recognize try to read okay come with me look here if there is one this is the a if you will join with the letter ba just example it is one word i am taking so what will be a plus ba what will be not a ba but it is a and b a b a b a and b it is a b it is a b and it means now it is now okay ab can you read a and b ab okay like like more words are there but uh, now few words very close with the significance with the symbol of the vowels look here like you want to so ha huh. you are seeing here can you read this one can you read this one this is the longer a this is the longer a and this word is ba but this is looking you are looking here this is the longer u longer u under the letter so this is what became abu abu baba baba's house baba's place abu so how you have written you have written the longer a actually this is vowel but in use if it is coming in the beginning so it will be in the complete form so this is a longer a plus ba plus plus longer u okay a b by short one a is longer one a b u a b and if it is separate here but this one you will put here this it it never comes separate but always it is supporting to the consonant so a b b plus u b a b so now it will be now it will be abu can you read this one this is not any word in hindi that that has not meaning but can you understand if i will put this stroke here so can you read this one 
here you have read, read this one only without a stroke so it is a b but here is one one stroke this is one stroke can you read this one aba eh? aba very good very good pass pass this is aba because i is longer and b is longer so here you will write in writing in writing you will write like that one okay unless you can write also it is longer one it is one so aba aba abu ab is it clear okay like that if you want to write the short a and this longer can you read this one can you read this one ha eh? this is short one a uh, it is longer ava uh, so it will be aba now it will be aba it is aba and it is ab okay yeah two words but how it is changing a uh, and b ab a bu b abu and aba and aba okay so this is similar words but with the um, with the uh, symbol of the significance it is different there ab abu aba aba and like that you can use example which we will use our rajyogis when baba we remember to baba so it comes mostly and baba said never forget the word baba always say baba 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 so what is this you know you know him who is he baba b longer a b longer a baba okay thank you very good can you understand which word is this this letter is da but if you have put here if you have put here stroke so what will be okay and one put here yeah this one what is this can you read dada dada this is dada da plus a da plus a it is according to english dada okay dada can you write dadi dadi ha uh, look here you will write same da plus a plus da longer e here should be longer e because not short one it is dadi the for your understanding you are clear the plus a yeah it is stroke is longer a da and it is the again but longer e here to here now this is this is dadi dadi acha same thing which if you will make this one here what will be now 
it is longer e it is longer e the plus longer e the the plus longer e the so what will be longer e the 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 same thing eh? but the plus longer e the plus longer e the plus longer e the the plus longer e the 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 so the the and the the okay if you write the short one look here same thing i am telling you without this one it is short e short e means if you will write before here now try to read it was the the but now this is short one short the the try to try to read ha the the nay the is short one the 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 if you will write letter b okay and then longer e b longer e b plus longer e yeah this is the significance for the longer e this is the significance for the longer e what is this b plus longer e b plus longer e b b b b b b b b is wife b b is wife uh, but it is according to urdu urdu which uh, hindi uh, we read for baba for knowledge in gyan and for the murli so you should understand that there is not uh, the pure only hindi but uh, you are learning uh, seven language at once because baba uses in murli hindi sanskrit english um, and some regional language and urdu and sindhi so many language comes few few words so it becomes very light words and uh, few words are pure of the special language like sindhi word you have heard baba says meethe meethe siki ladhe siki ladhe it is pure sindhi word it is not uh, you cannot found in uh, in urdu dictionary and in hindi dictionary in english dictionary there is not such word it is pure words of sindhi so baba when uh, reveals knowledge means in murli so in murli there is a variety languages so many languages words it means not that baba is teaching the different different language but easy words of the different different uh, language they are coming in use hindi hindi is ocean there are so many languages are like rivers are coming in hindi so um, in hindustan in bharat so many um, people came they attack on the uh, on the india they ruled here and they left their culture they left their language so uh, hindi has accommodated to everyone so many so there is so many so it is bb bb means bb means wife okay we are going to understand the letters the words and this is very good thing as you are Uh, getting interest you are taking interest you are understanding so i hope and i can i congratulate to you that you are uh, learning you have entered the ocean of the hindi and i i feel as you are learning you are understanding so day by day we are going uh, and we want that to enable uh, you that you can speak you can write you can read and you can 
uh, give classes, you can uh, you can speak frankly in Hindi. Okay, thank you. Now, few things more. Um, I have that I am writing simple words again, giving example. What is this? For your vocabulary, just try to read. This is three letters, three. One is consonant, there is a vowel, but in the beginning if it is coming, so this is the complete form, it is, it must come and this is consonant, this is consonant. So, can you read this one? Try to check in the chart, uh, you can open the, this book on 25 page, there is written the all alphabet and one by one check and increase your vocabulary try to recognize the letters. So, first is a, first is a, second is la and third is ga, but according to this one, according to Hindi, this is a, a plus a like a, la and ga, a la g, a la g. This is alag. Alag means separate. Alag, alag. As Baba says in Murli, bhakti and gyan dono alag, alag hain. Gyan and bhakti both are separate, separate. To emphasize, there is two times, alag, alag. But main meaning is same thing, separate, separate. So, gyan and bhakti alag. So, this is alag, alag means separate. Okay, separate, theek hai? Okay, few words like that. Today, I want to tell you which we hear every day in Baba's Murli and that is achha. Achha. Baba uses achha. What is achha? Achha means good. Achha means here okay. Achha means now finish. Achha means nice. Achha means beautiful. Achha means fine. Okay? So, achha. Very useful word. So, be, be familiar with this word in writing in reading and in speaking. Look here, in Murli it will come, so try to understand. Okay, theek hai na? And this is this is achha. So, use in your book uh, vocabulary, try to speak, try to understand. Achha. How we will make this is first letter is A plus second one, this is Ja, this is Cha, Cha, but without a stroke for the half turn. Cha, how you will write, write cha half, so you will, I have removed the letter, look here. It is the complete letter cha, but not, that is not a cha, but that is a cha. So, cha is coming for short term, so that is half letter. So, for making half letter, you must remove this stroke, now it became half cha and next is letter letter ch plus plus here is one stroke. Okay? There is a half ch ch and longer a. 
Okay. So it comes in in different different part a half cha cha plus a because if you have not put this one, so what will be? What is this? Ach, but not acha. To say acha, you must put one stroke after the letter. So it is acha. Now I feel that you are clear with this word and try to understand, try to write complicated letter, but very useful. So one by one, I will tell you such words which you will use. Uh, second thing is, if you have written this letter is ba, have you understand? And one is letter ha, and under the letter you have written short u, and it is ta. Can you read this one? Can you read this one? This is ba, this is ha, it is u, ba, hu, and this is letter ta. What is this? What is this? Bahut. What is this? Bahut. Bahut means very. Bahut acha. So, bahut acha, bahut acha, very good, very good, very good. So, this is bahut. Okay. Now, what was new? Only this one. How you will put under the letter, under the ha, to ba, ha, short u and then ta. So, this, this is the symbol of the um, vowel. Ba, hut. Without this one, what will be? Bahat. Bahat, 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 but not we, we want to say bahut. So, this is bahut. Very good, bahut, and try to speak every day. Bahut acha, bahut acha, bahut acha. How much you will pronounce this word, you will get uh, dignitaries and you will feel uh, respect, you will increase zeal and enthusiasm of anyone. So, bahut acha, bahut acha, very good, very good, very good. Thank you. Like that, one word is coming again, again. Look here. It is little new, new word for you. Something is new there. Can you understand? Can you read this one? This letter is ja for your understanding. Ja and this is the long one, longer e. Ja plus here to here, it is longer e, ja plus longer e, it is ja plus longer e, so it will be, it will be g, I feel that you can understand this one. G, ja plus longer e, G, and this is the ha, ha, plus you have plus one stroke, plus you have put one half moon and here dot. It is nasal sound for the ah. Uh. 
like I have told you, uh, ang, ang there is only dot, but it is more clear. If it is, it is not only there is a n like an, so ang a we get g ha ha. It is ha not han, not hung, but it is ha g ha. So this is moon and star only a n, but only dot. So that is A and G. Okay. So this is complete one big one. It is half one, half moon and star. That is only sound, nasal sound. Ha, ha. And nowadays in computer is we are uh, mostly forgetting this one. So there is no need uh, of this. Only dot is enough. So we put we can dot. So there is not any big matter, but more writing clear in the old days. We was using for the nasal sound a ah, moon and star above the consonant. So that was a ah, a. Ah. But if you will put dot, so it became ang like Ganga. I have told you Ganga sang sat sang. So this this is there is the ang. So so, but instead of that. Nowadays, one dot is enough for the sound a, ah, for the sound ang, for the sound an. So for everything, everything we use only dot. G ha means G ha. G means G is only respect. G like sir, yes sir. So s sir, s sir. So G, G for the respect. We put like behind G, bhai G. Brata G, you can say sister G, brother G, very easy. So G is uh, for the respect, and Ha means yes. G Ha, G Ha, yes. Okay, yes, sir. Okay, yes, sir. Okay. So today I have given you three words. One was. अच्छा, then बहुत अच्छा, and जी हाँ, जी हाँ, okay, two words, so try to understand, try to keep into practice. By and by, we are going towards Hindi. Come with me and try to speak. Once with me, try to speak. जी हाँ, जी हाँ, जी हाँ. You can say हाँ जी also. But Haji and Naji, uh, that is little different. So we want to not say Naji, but Ji ha. It is very good one for the respect, for the polite form. First we give respect, sir. No, sir. Yes. Okay, sir. So for, come with me and try to read, try to speak. Ji ha.